the United States, they have, they find ways to give Israel $3.8 billion every year. And then even another billion for Iron Dome. And, and you know, Germany rightfully paid reparations to, um, to Jews uh, and victims of the Holocaust, as they should. But when it comes to reparations to Native Americans, when it comes to all the treaties that have been violated, when it comes to reparations for slavery, wh where is the money? They suddenly don't have the money. And it's like, oh, we have to co have a conversation. What fucking conversation? 40 acres and a mule. <laughs> it's right there in black and white. Right? And that's, of course, the bare minimum. Not even. And I just want to tell you one thing. In the United Kingdom, you know, if you, if, I don't know if you guys, um, uh, how many of you, because I know most of you are American, but how many of you have been to England? You go to London, and you go to the City of London. City of London is a district inside London. Okay? It's, it's a very special district because it's literally the center of evil. Okay? It's Mordor. <laughs> in, in the City of London, they have their own police force, which is separate from the rest of, of London, which is, which is crazy, right? And you have all the banks that are in the city of London. So Im imagine Wall Street having its own police force outside the NYPD. It's basically it. And you have um, the, so the financial center. You have St. Paul's Cathedral is very nice, fine. But uh, you also have the, the, the Old Bailey where they commit crimes in there too, pretending to be, you know, a court of law. You guys know what I'm talking about. And, and so they, they've concentrated all this power in this tiny district. And it has a special status. This goes back hundreds of years where it's kind of, it's exempt it's got its own unique status. And the thing is that you go to see these banks, you have HSBC, you, you know, um, uh, there's Lloyd's, the Bank of England itself, uh, all, all of these banks that have been there for hundreds of years. What's so special about them? They were in the slave trade. And when I say they were involved in the slave trade, I'm talking about governors, the governors of these banks. You can pick any bank uh, in the city of London and you will find in their history uh, at least one of their governors owning slaves, and in some cases they even gave money, they lent money, you know, banks loan money, to, in, to people in America to buy slaves. Like, how disgusting is that? But now you can't get a fucking mortgage for a house, right? Without paying 10% or 8% out or 6%. But if you want to buy slaves, they'll give you money. <laughs> like, it's just disgusting, right? And, and here, here, I haven't even gotten to the worst part. These banks paid reparations to the fucking slave owners. For, because slavery was banned, right? So when slavery was banned, I think the French did it first, then England banned it, and then the French brought it back. Anyway, when, when, England, when, the, when, the, when Britain banned slavery, the slave owners were so upset because they, they were losing money that, that the, the, the United Kingdom, the British government, was paying them reparations till a few years ago. What, when did they stop? 2015 or something? It's just, just a few years ago, literally. So the fucking slave owners get reparations, but not the slaves. I'm sorry, there is literally no justification or... You know, there's no way you can, re you, you know, uh, uh, reconcile this with, with countries calling themselves civilized. This is the opposite of civilized. This is disgusting. So the, the money's there. They just don't want to give it to anyone who de actually deserves it and who's owed that money. You know, whether it's Britain or, 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 or the US. And again, uh, talking about slavery, about um, uh, the natives, the, you know... If you pay the slave owners reparations, I don't even know why the fuck you paid them in the first place. That, that money should be taken back. Uh, but if, if you found the money to give them money, there's no excuse not to give the slaves reparations or the descendants of slaves reparations. There isn't. There's no excuse. And, and of course, you know, when it comes to Native Americans, I think that's, that's even more uh, egregious in its own unique way because the, the, the Native Americans, they, they were completely wiped out. Um, you know, when people talk about representation of minorities, they don't even mention Natives. It's, they're, not, they're not even in this discussion. It's like they don't fucking exist. Like, that's, how, that's what they've been reduced to. Like, the, the, like it's disgusting. You know, in every domain, whether it's like political, uh, uh, you know, sports, acting, they are not even in the discussion. And that is, that is really a disgusting uh, consequence of, of the genocide against them. It's really, really uh, uh, upsetting.